Right, so now let's move on to Python and let's uh, solve these problems. So the first program is to calculate the slope of a given line as we know and the inputs given are the coordinates of the two points of the line. So yeah, let's go ahead and write the Python code for it. So first, first let me actually save the file. I'll save it as q1.py. Alright, perfect. Now, uh, first of all, we will be taking input from the user. So we have just seen how to take input from the user. We'll use the input statement to take the input from the user. So I'll say um, x underscore a, which we will be using to represent the x coordinate of point a. Right, so x underscore a equal to input, enter the coordinate, oh sorry, enter the x coordinate of a. Right? And in the same way, we'll do the same for the y coordinate of the point A. We'll take the y coordinate of point A. And you know what? Um, I would really appreciate it if you actually uh, write this code yourself without actually watching this video. So if you want to try it, you can pause the video here. You can uh, write the code yourself and you can, after writing the code, you can check the video to see uh, if you have done right or if you have done wrong, where you have done wrong. But anyway, let me go on and uh, x underscore b equal to the same and then the same thing we'll do for the second point, coordinate of point b and then this is going to be b, oh sorry, oh, just a minute. This is going to be x underscore b and this is going to be y underscore b. Right, perfect. Now we have uh, the coordinates of the two points and now we have to actually use the formula to calculate the slope of the given line. And once again, the formula is, uh, sorry, actually in Python, I've told you hash is the symbol we use to, you know, write a comment. Anyway, so m equal to um, y underscore b minus y underscore a divided by uh, x underscore b minus x underscore a. So that's the formula to calculate the slope of a given line. So let me calculate it. So let's say m equal to uh, y underscore b minus y underscore a divided by x underscore b minus x underscore a. And also I'll enclose this numerator within brackets and also the denominator within brackets. And the reason why is because uh, I've uh, taught you about the BODMAS rule in programming. So yeah, it's better if you enclose things with within brackets like this. So yeah, I think that's it. Now we can just print out the slope of the line. Uh, slope of the line is, and I can print out M right there. So let me go ahead and execute that. Uh, let's say Python Q1.py. So enter the X coordinates of A, uh, three, seven nine eleven oh uh actually there's a error here interesting so it says unsupported operand for str and str all right so i forgot uh, one thing here i forgot to actually convert the integer i mean the input into an integer as i've told you in the input tutorial uh that everything that the user gives as an input to a python program during the runtime actually gets stored or it actually gets treated as a string so you'll have to uh, explicitly convert it into an integer so yeah i will do it here just like that and yeah that must fix the error so i'll just do it for all the four input statements and that must fix it Perfect, now let's go ahead and run the program again. And yeah, there we go. Uh, enter the coordinates of A, let's say eight, uh, six, and uh, 10, 14. Right, so it says the slope of the line is 4.0. All right, now let's go, on, go ahead and move on to the next program. And what is the next program? It's about calculate this, calculating the simple interest of a given amount in rest and time period. All right, now uh, let's go ahead and write the code for this as well. I'll save this as q2.py. And uh, there are three inputs here for this program. 
uh, the first input is the principal amount, the second one is the rate, and the third one is the time. So let's take all the three inputs and uh, let's see. So P equal to INT of uh, input, and then I'll say enter principal amount. Right, so I'll just take all the three inputs like that. Enter principal amount and then enter rate and then enter time period. Right, and then the formula to calculate the simple interest is really simple. It's just S I oh forgot to actually rename the names. It's it's R and this is T. Right. So S I equal to P into R into T divided by 100 and I'll just say print simple interest is and I'll just say um, SI right perfect now let's go ahead and run this program as well to see uh, if it works oh wait I forgot it's Python q2 dot by and not q1 dot by right enter principal amount uh, let's say 14,000 rate is let's say 5 and the time period is let's say 10 months so the simple interest as it says is 7000 all right now we are done with the second program as well the third program is about writing a program to calculate the nth power of a number now this is actually really simple in python so let me actually write this program as well i think it's the smallest program q3 dot pi now, uh, first of all, we need to take two inputs. The first one is the number and the second one is the power. So I'll say n equal to int of uh, input of uh, enter the number, enter the number. And in the same way, I'll just do the same for the power as well. So I'll say power and I'll save it as p. Now, all you need to do is say res equal to, or you can just directly say print power of uh, n okay I'll say n raised to the power I'll say n raised to the power um, p is and then I'll say uh, n asterisk asterisk p so in the <clears throat> in the arithmetic tutorials video i have already taught you that uh, these two asterisks uh, they indicate uh, or they are used to calculate the power <coughs> i'm sorry the power of a number all right so let's actually run this as well uh, python q4.py python uh, q4.py oh it's actually q3.py all right so enter the number let's say 3 and 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 great so we have it so the third program is also solved really easy and the fourth one is about finding the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle given the other two sides this is also really easy uh, let's actually do this as well let's say let me save this as q4.py which will be the last program for this practical exercise so first of all we need to take uh, the lengths of two sides so we'll have two inputs here so we'll say uh, enter oh i'll say a as the first side and say i input and i'll say enter the length of first side and similarly I'll say b equal to enter the lens of second side and to calculate the hypotenuse I'll say um, uh, first of all the hypotenuse is uh, it's equal to root of a square plus b square right here so all I need to do is firstly I calculate a square plus b square I calculate the sum of a square plus b square and then I'll add a square root to it all right so a square plus b square right so this is a square plus b square now I need to add a square root to it so I'll just use the power 1 by 2 1 by 2 so yeah it's nothing but a square plus b square to the power 1 by 2 which is root of a square plus b square perfect now let's go ahead and print this out print uh, 
hypo ten years is here then I'll say hype hype perfect um, Python Q four dot pi let's see if it runs or not and the length of the first side let's say five um, five and then five it's going to be twenty five plus twenty five fifty yeah something like that right or actually let's cross check it if you if there's anything we need to cross check let's use this thing so first side five second side five calculate 7.07 .07. yeah our result is correct there so yeah we have actually easily solved all the four questions in python and i think it's a little bit less time consuming as compared to java but you know yeah both languages are great languages once again and yeah we have uh, successfully completed our first practical exercise and uh, i think by now you can see if you are able to make progress in this or not if you are able to write your own code or not and i hope you uh, understood or you were able to at least know what is going on all right or uh, the best chance you are able to write your own code without actually watching this video that would be the best case and yeah you will be probably making progress gradually and yep i'll see you in the next video